basic life support is essentially the first aid that bystanders can provide for a patient who suffered an unexpected cardiac arrest like any other condition the cardiac arrest has to be first formally diagnosed and labeled so if somebody collapses the first thing to do would be to call for help because resuscitation is often a team effort so you call for help and then you go to the patient and you would check for their response hello hello are you okay are you okay so if there is no response then you would feel for the carotid pulse which is a few centimeters next to the adam's apple and you will have to check for breathing by way of chest and abdominal rise you look for chest movement abdominal movement and you feel for a pulse you do this for about 10 seconds no more than 10 seconds at least 5 seconds but no more than 10 seconds and if there is no pulse no breathing then now you have established that the patient is in cardiac arrest so your help would have already called for the ambulance i am now starting giving compressions whatever you see as the center of the chest is where you start giving the compressions you need to have your fingers interlocked the palm the the heel of the palm will be on the center of the chest and movements have to be at the shoulder the ideally you need to be transferring your weight onto the patient's chest and the uh, the depth of the compression should be about 5 cm so and it should be at a rate of around 100 per minute 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 195 196 197 198 199 200 so now we are switching roles while i do that i am checking for the pulse again checking to see if there is any breathing chest or abdominal movement if that's not the case we resume compressions as the compressions are going on the other person should keep the head tilted and the chin lifted to keep the airway open so that way the patient's airway will be open and some passive ventilation will happen so every 2 minutes you stop to check for a pulse and breathing and you swap hands because the person giving compressions will certainly be tired by that time so this goes on till the help the ambulance that we have called has arrived or the patient shows signs of life which will be coughing talking or moving so if the patient shows signs of life we stop to check for a pulse otherwise every 2 minutes we do a pulse check breathing check and continue with compressions and keeping the airway open till help arrives for the help arrives by way of uh, ambulance personnel or medical help arrives thank you